Once again people, welcome back to the Back in Time Watch channel. Today I have a fun one for you. I'm actually unboxing two Casio watches, two custom-made Casio watches from IFLW W W W V. I don't know how it's called. I F L I think it's V W V I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> those guys. I'm unboxing two watches from them and this is gonna be a fun one because I had some opinions about these watches before I tried them out and just as with the Tudor Pelagos in Titanium and with the Rolex GMT Master 2, these watches kinda changed my mind in a way. But we're gonna talk about that. But now we're gonna roll the intro and let's go. By the way, I already unboxed the watches. I just couldn't wait. Okay. Here they are. Black box, white box. Wearing the Tudor Ranger today. Still loving it, but let's unbox these beauties. And I'm actually going to unbox, uh, as I said, I have unboxed them. I could not wait. I'm going to unbox, show you the one that I uh, like the least and then I one that I like the most. Would you want to guess which one I like the least, even though I really like them both? Uh, it's the white one. I really love the black one. So let's save the best for last. Oh, and by the way, this is a sponsored video. They actually sent me these two watches and I could keep them both. So I just had to make that clear. It's a sponsored video, but my opinions in the unboxing will not by any means be swayed by the sponsorship. So uh, once again, let's go. But this white packaging is actually cooler than the black packaging. You see the IF IFLW uh, watches uh, logo and here we have it once again. This is actually the way uh, uh, the Casio boxes come in. I, they all, Casio, a lot of G-Shocks come in this paper box, but they've actually, as you see, they, they've changed the graphics on it. And then when you open it up, in the little space here before you get the watch you get yourself a nice little card uh, with the warranty on it there it is international warranty casio collection two years warranty from date of purchase two years warranty uh, from uh, in sweden uh, i felt watches in sweden put that back in there and then you have a little welcome to IFL watches. We know the world is full of choices. Thank you for choosing us. Uh, thank you. And then you can follow them on the social media. Actually, cool thing to uh, show the trust. Ah, I actually thought that they showed you the trust pilot score there. But now this is just uh, them telling you to uh, maybe rate them on trust pilot. And they really, uh, and I understand why they do that because they stand behind their product. They know what they have, know it's a niche thing, and uh, it's really cool. You get this little cloth, cleaning cloth, with the same graphics as the box itself, and then you get the standard manual for the module, module number 5611. And then inside here, you actually have the standard G Shock metal tin box 
So, oh, we've wasted a lot of time and we haven't seen the watches yet. That's why I always show you the watches in the intro before, because then I actually circumvene the the complaints with about me not showing you the watches. So here we have it, the white one. And there it is. Look at that coloration. This is just... Uh, I mean, I saw my my buddy Watch Bud. You can actually follow him uh, in his Instagram uh, here. He does some fantastic photography. I really love his photos and his pictures. And he actually, he's inspired me a lot of times. Uh, and when I saw his picture, because he also has some kind of sponsorship, sponsor deal with IFL watches. When I saw his picture on this Ice One, it's a beauty. I mean, the white and all those colors and I'm really sad that the Sun is in the position that it is right now because it, I have to bend it really far so that I can show you the colors and when I bend it this way it actually looks a little darker so I'm actually going to do some magic and flip the table around so I'm sitting in a better position uh, facing towards the Sun instead of yeah let's do it woohoo look at that with the magic of any edi editing you can do anything look at that dial i mean first of all the first thing that strikes you it's is all the colors all the colors of the rainbow you have blue you have purple you have pink red orange yellow green and then in different kinds of shades and then you have that white it's just a really summery watch with the white and with all the colors and one thing that i did not know before i actually got the watch in my hands is that the colors in the bezel we, i mean the casio have a some kind of a bezel thing going around here you can see that the colors match it starts if you see the 11 o'clock there it's quite green maybe teal and then the g there it starts in that teal shade goes over to blue like the 12 o'clock and then goes over to dark blue almost purple at the one o'clock the uh, light text it's purple and then the start text at the four o'clock is red protection we have the same thing here it starts at orange bright orange and then it goes to a little darker shade of orange that's almost orange yellow and the text does the same thing all the way to red we have yellow at the seven o'clock not sorry at the eight o'clock then we have green at the ten o'clock so cool so cool i bet you've seen the cassiocs before so i'm not gonna i'm gonna save that for the full review of the cassiocs itself it's just a standard cassiocs uh, except for the customization on the actual dial of the watch and on the bezel there's nothing more customized on the watch itself we still have that uh, rubber strap that i have always have trouble finding my sweet spot with and then we have the case back with the carbon core guard uh, typing we have the easy access to remove the strap strap right there and I've actually ordered me uh, a couple of uh, other straps that I think they're actually actually going to be a little more comfortable than the original straps here but there's only there's also one difference between the feel of the white strap and the feel of of the black strap so let's open up the black one I'm just gonna put the white one to the side for a little moment and then we're gonna take a look at this black beauty as I call it black box same paper box as the white one but it's black same little thing with the warranty then we have the cleaning cloth black instead of white and then we have the instructions book right there and then in here we have the tin the g-shock tin box there we go let's open it up take out the black one uh, oh, there we go yeah i'm gonna pop that in right there and okay you ready for this and there it is i mean look at that i mean that just makes me happy when I when I see and I, and I'm smiling even as I'm shooting this because when I see this watch 
it just makes me so happy. I'm just feeling like an idiot right now. But it's it's true. It makes me happy to see all those colors. And with that black contrast, it almost... I'm, I'm not going to bring on in the white one just yet. Just let this watch have a second for itself. But one thing that I really love is that the 12 o'clock little pip there is red. Red is my favorite color. And this, the little arrow uh, showing you the days and stuff right there is also red red let's zoom in a little bit on that beautiful beautiful dial tough solar bluetooth it's just splendid it's really nice and you see here as well it goes from the 11 o'clock 11 o'clock's pink over to red over to reddish or there's almost a salmon color there and then we have orange at the two o'clock yellow and then it goes from kind of a teal thing over there over to green over to green and yellow beautifully done and I like that uh, now let's bring and as I said with the white one it's basically it is except for the dial and the bezel it's the same watch as a regular Casio uh, so but the uh, yeah uh, it's, it's, I'm speechless. They are so cool. They are so cool together. Black and white. And when I'm holding them in my hand, I usually think, I don't know if this is an optical illusion of mine, they're, they're just as big. They're the same watch, the same size. This has Bluetooth, this doesn't. So, But I usually think that white watches feel larger when you look at them but in this this case the white one feels smaller when i look at them up front than the black one feels i really do not know why that is but it is what it is so and uh, a little couple of details that i like more on the black one first of all is that all those colors on that black watch especially on the bezel they pop even more than they do with the white one if you can see the colors in the white bezel there I mean, this is just, the colors are popping more with this one. And another thing is the little arrow there, the subdial arrow is red. Once again, my favorite color. And the, in this one, it's white. And then we have a little more color because the uh, tough solar Bluetooth text there on the black one is actually yellow and blue. Ah, huh, Sweden. And uh, on the white one, it's just, it doesn't say Bluetooth. Is just it just says water resistant 20 bars in gray and then we the sub dial on the white one that can show you a lot of stuff like seconds and date there is actually blacked out you see it right there uh, but on the black one it's a vintage old-school digital display and it is actually more much more legible than the white one is so of these two I really prefer the black one but I really have a soft spot for the white one as well when I put this on the white one on the wrist it changes my perspective then I'm really into the white one it's a real cool summer watch but this is just a watch I could see myself wearing I mean the black one every day and then we have the little Am I just imagining imagining this? But the black strap feels smoother. It feels softer than the white one. This just feels a little more stiff. And I compared this one with my wife's Casio because she also has a white one. And that also felt just as stiff as this one. So I don't know what this is, what that's about. Maybe it's because of the coloring that makes them softer or stiffer. I have no idea. But these are some really cool watches from IFL Watches. I mean, they're just a home run. I wish I could have gotten my filthy grabby hands on that beautiful Oris release that they have coming up. I would have loved to feature that watch on the channel. Maybe if they like these uh, videos that I'm putting out, maybe they'll send me one to uh, show you guys. I do not know, and I will not keep my hopes up. But if you want to keep your hopes up for me, then I'm perfectly fine with that. So, uh, cool, cool, cool watches. Really liking them. Full review coming up. Which one do you prefer? Black one or white one? Please let me know in the comments. And I know what you're thinking. 
sponsored video he used to say that he didn't like these watches that they were overpriced and now he suddenly likes them so that's just because of the sponsoring it actually isn't I have actually through this watch journey of mine I've done a lot of uh, not soul searching that's such a big word a lot of searching inside myself in what I like and what I don't like and every watch that I've purchased along the way uh, actually got me closer to finding out exactly what I like and what I do not like and sometimes uh, youtubers we uh, people that have opinions online that write in, in chat groups and write on Facebook and have YouTube channels and whatever we actually sometimes we're quite quick to have an opinion and I, that actually as I said in the intro it happened to me twice first I did not like titanium watches I bought a Breitling Aerospace and I really didn't like that watch so I thought titanium is not for me I was quite loud, loud about it everywhere every time a person posted a watch in a Facebook group about an upcoming titanium watch I always wrote cool but i wish it was in stainless steel and then i bought the tudor pelagos 39 and i love that watch it's a dream come true and suddenly i like titanium i only wanted to have big watches 44 millimeters 43 was the crucial limit i wanted bigger than that and then i was really vocal about how big watches big watches is the thing i do not like small watches i it feels like i'm wearing a children's watch when i wear a small watch then I bought the Tudor Black Bay GMT, 41 millimeters, started to get me thinking. I bought the Gino Ocean Rover, 40 millimeters, starting to get me thinking anymore, uh, even more. And then I bought my Grail, the Rolex GMT Master II, 40 millimeters, and it's perfection. Suddenly, I like smaller watches. So we shouldn't be fast to judge. We should actually uh, try out the watches first. And that's why I always say, the watches that I try out that are not my own, I cannot make a review of the watches because I cannot try them out enough to tell you what to think of what I think about it because I cannot build an opinion in in one week or one day or just unboxing a thing. So, do I like them? Yeah, I really do like them. Would I buy them if they weren't given to me? Would I actually spend $650 or Euro? And it's, they're basically 6,500 Swedish crowns. Would I buy them for that? I have to be honest, probably not. And that's not because I don't like them. I hope you're following me in my thinking process here. I do love the watches and I'm not really the one telling other people what to buy or not to buy. I'm just saying, would I buy it? And I'm really not the one saying that something is overpriced since I have my Rolex GMT Master 2 and since I bought that from a gray dealer, gray market dealer, new and unworn but still before the financial crisis you can only imagine what that watch costed me. So I'm not the one to give you advice. I think everyone should buy what they want and if you think something is cool just buy it. If you think it's cool enough to spend your money on it, it doesn't matter if it's overpriced or if it's just uh, not a good deal, not a bang for the buck. If you like it, just buy it. Because the one, the one and only important opinion when you buy watches is actually your own opinion. No one else's opinion matters. It's just what you think and what you like. And if you like something, then you should go buy it. But for me, I really think they're cool watches. The, Cass the modded Casio Oaks that we just took, that we just unboxed, they're really cool watches and they're expertly made. I mean, I could not, I'm a really stickler for details, uh, but I could not find anything, not a single speck of color on the wrong place, not a single misalignment, nothing. They're just perfect. They're perfect and they give you the warranty and it's just, a, two great watches but for me they're just I mean they're just a little too expensive and that's just my personal opinion I would not buy them for that amount of money because I don't have an infinite amount of money if I had a, an infinite amount of money if money was never an issue for me if I could just buy whatever I wanted to buy sure I would buy both of these I would actually buy a lot of the models that they have on their web page I would actually buy the new Oris release that they have oh, that's a that's a cool watch because they're right up my alley and I have a lot of colors I like a lot of colors my tattoos my 
clothes sometimes show that I'm a colorful dude and I really love these kinds of things but it's just a lot of money for me personally personally at the moment so I'm so grateful that I got these two watches to keep because I am gonna wear them I am really going to wear these watches especially in the summertime they're just so cool but no I wouldn't buy them for myself because my financial situation right now <laughs> $650 I would use that on another type of watch on mechanical watches basically uh, that's it folks as usual if you liked the video please give it a thumbs up if you didn't like it which I hope that you didn't 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 not like it give it a thumbs down tell me what you didn't like in the comments and I'll try to do better until the next video and until the next video but before I say that I just want to thank IFLW watches once again. I will be doing a review of these two watches. I will be doing a comparison with an uncustomized, uncustomized Casio, my wife's. So there's going to be some additional content coming out with these two guys. But uh, thank you once again, IFLW. Great company, great customer service. Uh, I had a great chat with uh, one of the dudes there, and uh, yeah, just. Head over to the web page and buy yourself some cool watches if you like these kinds of things. So, I uh, hope to see you again. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.